CEO Mark Zuckerberg introduced what he calls the metaverse. I'm Lori Siegel, and I'm about to be turned into a 3D avatar. And then I'm going to be turned into an NFT. There is a home. It's called the metaverse. And it's being referred to as the future of the internet. The case for digital transformation has never been more urgent. As the digital and physical worlds come together, we are creating an entirely new platform layer, which is the metaverse. I believe the metaverse is the next chapter for the internet. And it's the next chapter for our company too. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. What is Metaverse? And why are Facebook, Microsoft, and even companies like Nike wanting to be a part of the Metaverse? As you watch this video, please click the subscribe button and click notifications on. It really makes a big difference for us to create good video content. My simple three-word definition of metaverse is interactive virtual experience. It is an experience in 3D through a digital medium like a computer, where you can experience as if you are actually right there in person, even though it is all virtual on a screen. Here's Mark Zuckerberg with his avatar, a 3D digital representation of himself getting ready to join a virtual meeting. Over the years, technology has advanced from simple texting with no images to using images and now videos. Metaverse is the next generation method of communicating with people. Your profile picture will be replaced by your avatar that will look as real as you. So, instead of shopping at the local mall for clothes and shoes, will you be buying NFT images to dress up your avatars? For more information on NFTs, please check out the video in the link above or in the description section below. At the simple click of a link, you can teleport yourself to a birthday party in a different place. Or, you can teleport to be with a friend who is attending a concert. In fact, the YouTube Marshmallow concert on the Metaverse was attended by tens of millions of people. Rapper Travis Scott's concert in the Fortnite Metaverse was a big hit. This past week, Justin Bieber did a live concert in the Metaverse with Wave. As you can see here, his fans were sending him live emojis as he was performing the show in his various avatars. In the metaverse, you can play chess with your friend in another city, but feel as if you are right next to him. You can also invite your friends to play ping pong, or go surfing in the ocean. You may be wondering, is the metaverse just a bunch of fun activities? It's just a game! No. It's not just a game! Think of a doctor who needs to practice complex surgery. Metaverse can make the doctor's practice more real with full 3D views and make the doctor experience as if they were operating a real patient. So what about Metaverse in the office? You guessed it. There will likely be office meetings in the Metaverse where you can teleport yourself to the office meeting room and be with your coworkers. Hmm. There's a meeting? Nobody told me there was a meeting. The metaverse can also help with learning. Instead of going to the library or Googling to learn about Roman culture, you will put on your virtual reality headset, virtually walking and talking to people in the Roman Colosseum and the Vatican. This is BMW's digital factory that runs on metaverse. It employs 120 digital humans who move around the factory doing real tasks that simulate tasks done by real human factory workers. This is the future of the metaverse in the factory. Now, let's look at the drawbacks of the metaverse. 
When you go for a walk in the park, you feel the breeze, the leaves, and the sunshine, and get some fresh air. But in the metaverse, when you go on a walk with a friend wearing augmented reality glasses, it may simulate the park, but won't you miss the real nature and the fresh air and sunshine? Are we going to be sitting on our couch all day, just experiencing everything in the metaverse? What does this mean for real social interactions? Will metaverse make you lose touch with real life? A real hug or a real smile? Will the world turn into a sci-fi movie? I have another concern. Can you ever be as good as your own avatar? In the metaverse, you can be anything you dream to be. Even marry your Prince Charming. But at the end of the day, when you go to bed and remove your virtual reality headset and augmented reality glasses that give you the metaverse experience, what happens then? Will you be happy to be in the real world facing real issues? How far is metaverse from being fully ready? The special glasses available today that you need to experience augmented reality are just too uncomfortable to wear. Once the technology improves to make these glasses thin and easy to wear, it will become more popular. Metaverse today is not portable. In real life, if you buy a pair of shoes, you can use them anywhere. But can you take the digital shoes your avatar's clothes and the NFTs you buy in one metaverse platform like Minecraft and take it to another like Roblox? No, today this is not there. I would like to hear your thoughts about this topic and also if you want to see any other video from us on any topic that interests you, please mention it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please click the subscribe button to support us so we can add more content every week. Thank you for watching.